Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video in the Design Tips series, we're going to be taking a look at how we can deal with sticky headers in Ocean WP. I'm going to take you through how to activate it and go through some of the settings and show you how you can configure it to get a really quite nice, unique experience for your end user. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So this is the page that we're currently working on and we created this in a previous quick tips video. If you want to take a look at how to create this header section with a transparent header, check out that video. I'll put the link in the description for you. So go and take a look. So what we need to do is make sure we've got the commercial add on for Ocean WP and that's the sticky headers. So what I do is just jump into the admin section of WordPress into the dashboard, scroll down and you can see that I've got the Ocean Sticky Header plugin installed but not activated. Once we activate that, it's going to activate the sticky headers. So if I just jump back and refresh the page, once that reloads in, you'll see now as I scroll on the page, we now get the sticky header at the top. That's the default experience. Let's go and take a look at what we can do to change this and get it a little bit more customized. So we just jump back into the dashboard. What we need to do is come to the appearance section and come down into the customizer. Now, once that loads in, you'll see a new section in your Ocean WP control panel on the left hand side. That's an option that allows you to go in and start customizing the sticky header. So if I scroll down, you'll see we have the new option sticky header. If I click to open that up, we now have a range of really cool options available. You can see we've got things like sticky auto or manual. We've got the option to go through and customize the way the actual navigation block looks. And what I'm going to do in this video is just show you and demonstrate some of these in action. Now, this doesn't always work the best inside the customizer. So you may notice a few graphical glitches compared to what it's going to look like. It's just something that's inherent with working with the customizer, unfortunately. So let's take a look. If we scroll up, you can see this now shrinks the menu up. It doesn't shrink it up correctly. You can see we get this section at the bottom, which isn't showing right, but it should give you a good enough example of what's going on. So you can see if we've got the top bar selected and switched on inside Ocean WP, we can specify whether that's sticky as well. We've got sticky mobile, which allows us to specify whether it's sticky on mobiles or not. Full width scrolling, so if we activate that, Nothing happens on screen in front of us. Everything looks the same. But once we scroll down and it starts to move out of the way and create that sticky header, you'll see everything now goes to be full width. In other words, the navigation goes over right the way over to the right hand side and the logo right the way over to the left hand side. Jump back out of that. You can see you've got the option then for no shadow when scrolling. So that will control whether you'll see a shadow underneath when you're scrolling down through. You then got the option for shrink or fixed for the sticky header style. Now at the moment shrink is enabled so you can see once we scroll up or scroll down the page so it sort of scrolls the actual navigation at the top, you'll see it shrinks it down to a smaller version so the logo shrinks down and the actual space it takes up is slightly smaller. If I just jump over to this, refresh the page, make sure we're loading it, you can see this is what it should look like. You can see it shrinks things down. What we can do though is specify that that's fixed. So your strip across the top, your navigation strip will say the same size when you scroll in. So this will always be full size. So again, it's one of those things that allows you to quickly and easily go in and customize the way things look. So whatever you think works best for you. You then have the option for the sticky effect. So let's put that back to shrink. And then we've got an option for how this actually works. You can see if we come in, we've got no effect. We've got slide show up and down. Well, let's just choose slide. Wait for that to load up. And as we scroll down the page, you'll see it disappears to start off with and then slowly scrolls back down. So it gives this kind of nice animated effect. Alternatively, we could use the show up hide down. Now, what that'll do is as we scroll down the page, you'll see that the navigation disappears. Once we start to scroll back up, it pulls that navigation, the header section back down so we can see the navigation options. So again, pretty cool, nice and easy way to work and easily go through and choose exactly what you want to do. You also then got the sticky height. So this is the height for the header when it shrinks down to a smaller version, which is why you'll notice when we choose fixed, it disappears. So if we choose that, we can adjust this to make sure we get exactly what we want. So we shrink that down, set this back to be no effect. What we can do is we can make this slightly smaller. So let's just set that to something like 40, somewhere around that kind of region. That'll do. We'll see as we scroll up, Nothing happens at the moment, but let's just save this, publish this out, jump back over to our page, refresh that and take a look at it in action. So you can see it gets even smaller now. So we end up with a much smaller 
sticky header at the top. So, you know, you can fine tune this to make it as simple or as complex, as large or small as you want it to be. Let's just reset that by clicking on the little arrow, the reset arrow. We've then got the sticky padding, which allows us to go through and adjust the padding for that on the sticky header. We can also go in if we want to and adjust this based upon the device that's being viewed on. So we've got your desktop, your tablet, and your mobile. So you can make sure you customize it to get exactly what you want when viewing this on different devices. And when you want to check that out, you can simply click on these options to show us exactly what it's going to look like so we can go through and customize things. So pretty cool. You've then got the opacity. So if you want to, you can make this really, really transparent. So you can see there's pretty much nothing showing up on there. Or you can make it pretty much opaque. So you can go through and set this to whatever you want. So pretty cool, where we can customize that. You've then got the option for your logo. So if you don't want to use your default logo, you can go in and choose a different logo for the sticky option for both normal resolution and for retina resolution. So if you're using something like a 5K iMac or a 5K MacBook Pro or something like that, you can adjust this to make sure you get the best looking quality when it's being viewed on that kind of device. You can also see the logo height on the sticky, so we can adjust that to make sure the logo doesn't lose all its definition if we find it's getting just a little too small. Then you've got the options to go through and you can customize all the different colors, the background colors, the link colors, and so on, to get exactly what you want when you're working with a sticky header. So pretty cool. So there's all the options we have available so we can easily go through and adjust these to get exactly what we want to make sure that our sticky header looks good, works the way we want it to, and just basically gives the end user a fantastic experience when viewing our website. So there we go. That pretty much wraps up this video tutorial. If this is your first time around here, please consider subscribing to the channel to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. Simply hit the like button, hit the little bell icon to be notified, and smash that subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else you'd like to see covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. In the description is any links to all the products we talk about in this, Ocean WP, and so on. And if you'd like to support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links below doesn't cost you any more money, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel and helps us create great content for you on a more regular basis. Well, until next time, take care.